What's up guys, Pedguin here, back again with another T-Mod Loader tutorial, teaching you everything you need to know about T-Mod Loader. Alright guys, so, the first thing I want to say is, there's a lot of misconceptions going around. This seems so easy to do, right? And it is pretty easy, but a lot of people are really scared to do this. What you need to do to uninstall T-Mod Loader is literally just right click here and press uninstall, right? And it's like, do you want to delete your file? Oh my goodness, do you want to delete Terraria? It sounds so scary, right? It sounds terrifying. It sounds horrifying. But this will only affect the Steam folder. This Steam folder right here. Steam, Steam apps, common Terraria. Remember this folder? We used it when it installing the Tmod loader, right? This, deleting that only affects that. This does not affect your my game, my documents, my games, Terraria folder at all. Remember this folder? This is where all of your worlds, your players are saved. Um, even your captures, your sc print screens, your everything. So look, my worlds are fine, my players are fine. And if you go into here, there's even the world, modded world, your modded players, and even the mods themselves. Look at all this bo boss checklist, calamity mod. These will still be here. So what I can do, and I'll show you, I can just delete Terraria. And it's gone. It says un uh, install. So look, let's take a look. Terraria, my worlds are still here. My players are still here. My modded stuff is still here. Pretty cool, huh? And then, there you go. You can just reinstall it. There you go. Reinstall it. Congratulations, you've got Terraria. You've got vanilla Terraria now. And if you want to get Team Mod Loader, you can follow the tutorial on how to do it that I did before. Um, if you want more information what you can do is what I've done as you can see down here in my taskbar I've got I, I've pinned it I've pinned modded Terraria to my taskbar and I've pinned normal Terraria to my taskbar so what you can do is you can like rename um, van vanilla Terraria to a different name and you re rename modded Terraria to a different name and that way it will be uh, located as different things and you can launch both of them simultaneously so if you want to play vanilla you can very easily just click that and play vanilla or if you want to play uh, modded you just click that and play modded pretty simple stuff pretty straightforward um, also, another misconception that I want to clear up, because a lot of you guys are very confused about this sort of stuff, is what you can do is, a lot of people, what they did is they installed Tmod Loader, and they were like, Pedguin, I installed Tmod Loader, and I lost all of my characters, I lost all of my worlds, I'm very mad, I'm mad at you, Pedguin. And that's not true. What happens is, when you install Tmod Loader, it doesn't use this folder anymore, it doesn't use players, it doesn't use these. Instead, it uses this folder here, Mod Loader, and then players here. So for example, if I wanted to play my Pedguin character, as you can see here, on my modded world, what I would have to do is I would copy Pedguin player, Pedguin player backup, and the Pedguin folder, I can copy that, I can take it into Tmod Loader, and then modded players, and then just paste it in here, and then I can play the player here instead. Um, what a lot of people did is, this would be blank. If it's your first time ever playing Tmod Loader, this would be blank and you, you wouldn't have anything. So a lot of people were very misunderstood that they lost all their characters. They are not lost. This folder here, Terraria, my games, n can never be edited um, by uninstalling Terraria, can never be edited from anything other than you like deleting this folder. So as long as you don't like delete my games or anything like that, you, your characters and worlds should be perfectly fine. And even if you have done that by accident, it should be in your recycling bin. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. Let's see if we can play Terraria. And boot it up for you just to show you guys how it is. Um, it should work perfectly fine. Uh, I think it should be the vanilla version of Terraria. Um, and yeah, everything should be good. Um, let's have a look. A cheeky peek. There we go. I like I like that intro. It had a little penguin there. That's what I like to see. And there you go. There's all my worlds, all my folders, and I just uninstalled this like five seconds ago. I didn't edit the video to trick you guys or anything like that. Um, there you go, there's my vanilla characters. If I wanted to play on a server, hell yeah, I'm gonna play on a server, you know what I mean? Pedguin mini game server, pedguin.com 7777. Don't mind if I do, let's jump straight on that. How many players? We've got 108 players. Not bad. Not bad at all. Can I go to the parkour area? 
I can. Hell yeah. See, there you go. Easy. Let's play this map. And away we go. Bounce, bounce, bounce. All right, guys. Thank you very much for coming. It's been a pleasure street, uh, for making a video for you. <laughs> Did I just say streaming? Did I almost say streaming? This isn't a stream. Um, thank you very much for, for watching. I um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Any questions, put them down below. Um, check the description for FAQ for frequently asked questions. I'm assuming if I get a lot of the same question asked, I'll put something in the description. If there's no questions down there, that's because nobody's nobody's asked any. <laughs> um, I hope this helped you guys. Um, pretty straightforward stuff. You can just uninstall Terraria. You don't need to worry about it. Um, thank you very much, guys, for watching. I'll catch you guys later in the next one. And I'll catch you guys later. Subscribe, hit the bell, and all that stuff. Like the video if you, this helped. Bye. Bye.